How are you feeling? I feel good. For a period of approximately four months between September and December of 2018, I experienced a consistent and sustained effort by many people within the government to seek to politically interfere in the exercise of prosecutorial discretion in my role as the Attorney General of Canada in an inappropriate effort to secure a deferred prosecution agreement with SNC-Lavalin. These events involved 11 people, excluding myself and my political staff, from the Prime Minister's office, the Privy Council office, and the office of the Minister of Finance. I strongly maintain, as I have from the beginning, that I and my staff always acted appropriately and professionally, and therefore I completely disagree with the characterization of the former Attorney General uh, about these events. Justin Trudeau simply cannot continue to govern this country now that Canadians know what he has done. And that is why I am calling on Mr. Trudeau to do the right thing and to resign. Further, the RCMP must immediately open an investigation, if it has not already done so, into the numerous examples of obstruction of justice the former Attorney General detailed in her testimony. This all points to a government who are more interested in helping their powerful friends than they're helping everyday Canadians. Don't. Does the Prime Minister have to resign? Uh, maybe, he, maybe he might need to, but what we need to do is get to the truth, and that's what a public inquiry will do. While uh, political parties and various people are uh, making uh, or trying to draw a lot of attention to this issue, um, there is a process, both at the Justice Committee and indeed uh, at the Ethics Commissioner, uh, that will uh, make a determination on uh, what actually happened here. There are disagreements in perspective on this, but I can reassure Canadians that we were doing our job and we're doing it in a way that respects and defends our institutions.